Hi guys, I'm Mel Bryant, one of the APPI Master Trainers. Um, this month we're going to be having a little look at how you can make use of your resistance bands. So I've just chosen three little series of exercises making use of our um, Pilates resistance bands and I'm going to be using both colours. So we have the light blue one here which is for arms and then we also have the purple one which I'm going to be using a little bit later for a little leg series. So the first thing we're going to do is start off showing you how you can use the band potentially to assist or add some resistance to our roll up and roll down type movements. So we're going to come down first onto our mat and we're going to place the band just around the feet. So if we wanted to help this movement a little bit more, we would take the band and make it quite short, make sure we're nice and tall on our sitting bones, and then we're going to curl off the back of the sitting bones, and then continue just to curl back down. So almost using that band just to provide a little bit of resistance. And then again, we're going to draw the rib cage over the hips, back through our C curve, and then grow nice and tall. So again, using the band there, and again here, if you really needed to add more resistance and assistance, I would give, give them the purple band, because then it's going to uh, provide a little bit more help on the way back up. So that's just a nice way, again, just to encourage that movement, but make sure, again, they're not leading with their shoulders, and it's the ribs that are coming forwards. So we could also use it then to provide a little bit of upper body resistance, which is why I've chosen the light band. So in this case, we're going to roll off the back of the sit bones and then keep that little C curve and we're going to add in a little bicep curl. So again, obviously the higher the arms come up, then the harder we're going to be working through those biceps. So again, just make sure your toes are still pointing upright so the band's nice and secure underneath your feet and we're keeping that C curve all the way, so working through the abdominals and obviously the further into the range you go, the more work we'll get through those abdominals. And then we would curl back up again and restack that spine. So our final little one in that series is to challenge our oblique tummy muscles a little bit more. So this time again, we're going to curl off the sitting bones and then we're going to reach and open through that side and then come back to the center. So rotating from side to side and think again about the rib cage moving over towards that opposite hip as we open out, but the pelvis is still staying pointing forwards. So again, just adding a little bit more resistance and again, we could take the arm out further to the side just to increase that challenge a little bit more. And then we're gonna curl all the way back up. So this time we're going to come back up into our standing position and we're going to have a little look at a lunge. So I'll show you the first leg just from the side so again we can see the positioning. So you're going to place your band underneath your front foot and the big thing here is to make sure that that back leg is far enough away so that when we go into our lunge we want to make sure that the knee and the heel are in line. So we should never have the knee forwards, it's going to stay over the heel. So again, we're going to come into that little lunge position, checking that we're nice and parallel. And we're going to start off here just with some plow arms. So nice long arms, pulling back, still making sure we've got that neutral position, shoulder blades melting down the back as we reach away. Good. So again, we could do another bicep curl here. So same as what we were doing with our little roll up but this time we're going to fold forwards through the elbows. I tend to here cue again, keeping that little space between your sides and your elbows. And then our final one is our triceps. So tilt a little bit further forwards from the hips, and then we're going to reach the arms away, but we're folding only at the elbow. So sometimes people find this exercise a little bit harder to do to isolate those triceps. So keep the elbows high and then we're going to reach away and then we're going to step back. So I'll just show you that again from the front on the opposite leg. So one leg coming into the band and then taking that leg away. So again checking that we've got that same alignment. So looking from the side remember that your knee is going to sit over your heel. Otherwise, we should again have knees and toes pointing forwards. So again, starting with our plow arms, so nice long arms, 
melting those shoulders down the back and then into our bicep curl so keeping the width through the front of the chest as we curl good and then for our triceps again just leaning a little bit forwards elbows coming high and then sending the hands away so we purely a little bit of an elbow movement going on here to allow those triceps to work but not that same plow movement and then we're going to step the feet together good work okay so we're going to switch over now to use our purple bland which is going to provide a stronger resistance and we're going to do a nice little series here for our bottom muscles so I want you to step onto the band and then I'm going to get you to cross it over so that you're holding the ends in the opposite hand just to make it nice and secure so the first thing again is to check we're in our parallel lines knees are going to be soft knees again tracking in line with that second toe so we're going to start here putting all the weight onto that left leg and then rock the weight into the heel just to get that left bottom to fire a little bit more and then we're going to step out to the side so stepping into the band and we're still thinking about keeping this knee in that good alignment so both toes and hips pointing forwards as we step out so again if your balance is not so good then you can keep at that level otherwise we're going to aim to see if we can just push into the band so we're not allowed to put that foot down this time we're just pushing out so by now you should probably feel that that supporting bottom is really starting to work so we should be feeling a bit of a burn as we press out and then come together and we're going to do exactly the same thing still on the same side but on the diagonal so this time we're going to step the foot back on that little diagonal movement so toes are still pointing forwards but we're thinking about stepping back and out left knee still tracking over that second toe good and then the same we've got our option just to reach away on that diagonal so a little bit more challenging and definitely gets those glutes working a little bit harder so that aim for about eight movements in each direction and then we're going to come back so I'll do the same on the other side again so a little step out to the side so we're going to do again eight little movements there thinking about knees and hips pointing forwards good and then if your balance allows we're going to not have the tap this time so you'll see maybe we can't go quite so far and we've got to work much harder through that supporting leg good and eight good coming back in and we've got our last little set reaching this time on the diagonal so again allowing the little tap first still getting that bottom muscle to work as we press into the band good and then we've got our final little challenge there where we're just going to reach away and then come back in good so really challenging our balance through that supporting leg as well as the leg that's pushing away we've got to get that glute firing last two come back down give them a little shake out well done guys so just some nice simple ways I'm sure you know heaps and heaps of your own ideas of how to use the bands but hopefully that just gives you some ideas and I'm going to see you next month and we're going to be doing some exercises with our Pilates circle I'll see you then